and the fact that the, the weather that we had yesterday is long gone, Sam. Yes, yeah, right here, Brooke. The sunshine is loud and proud in the sky, and it's going to be sticking around through the course of the day today. And basically through the remainder of this week, uh, we're seeing a lot drier air move through and a lot cooler air later on this week. But right now, we're actually enjoying some middle to upper 50s, actually, for much of Kentucky right now. Our friends in southern Indiana are already dipping into the upper 40s, but Lanesville is an ex exception to that at 53. But you look off towards Bedford, Jasper, Paoli, that is where that cooler air is starting to funnel through right now. We're already seeing the temperature spread still about the upper 50s. Mild air hanging out of Campbellsville and Lebanon right now, but it's only a matter of time before we all see the 40s back into our picture both Thursday and Friday and right on into the weekend too. I'll be giving more of a detailed forecast for the weekend here in just a moment. Here's our hourly spread for the rest of the afternoon and evening. We'll get to about 60 at 2 o'clock and I really think here in Metro Louisville, the strong cold front will pass through through the mid to late afternoon hours and that's going to be making for that cooler air punch. Here's actually a look at the rest of the Ohio Valley and the regional current temperature spread. You don't have to travel much to the north and west to deal with temperatures at freezing, if not just above that. Champaign, Illinois getting at 37 right now and of course our friends in much of southern and central Iowa staying in the hard freeze category in the upper 20s, but look at this mild air still. This cold front has a lot of warmer air to override. Our friends in Crossville, Tennessee at 74 degrees at this time. There's the cold front that is being depicted right now in our regional radar. It's making its way ever so quickly to the east, and there's been bouts of rainfall actually hammering uh, portions of the Appalachian Mountains. That's all the rainfall that we dealt with yesterday. And well, speaking of that rain, we can take a deep breath after dealing with the flooding rains yesterday. Fox Chase, three and three quarters of an inch fell for your area. Of course, at the airport here in Louisville, almost two and a half inches fell in one day. Shelbyville recording three. 3.56 inches and there's actually still a couple of flood advisories and alerts still in effect for our area. There's actually a current flood warning for extreme southwestern Kentuckiana. This is in effect all the way until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. It's set to expire mainly for the Rough River area along that Breckenridge and Grayson County line. We also do have a flood warning in effect if you're going to be traveling to the east at just the west or east of Lexington here. That's mainly for areas towards Mount Sterling going through about uh, late for uh, late tomorrow. Now the deal is we are tracking the next storm system that will be impactful for the weekend and is going to be bringing chances for rainfall. So we do have another risk of more light rain for our area as we take a look at the next couple of days. But the nice thing is the next 48 plus hours looking pretty dry before things change a little bit more for the weekend. Here's tonight and heading into the evening. We'll see temperatures drop down steadily on either side of 40 degrees around 10 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to those readings on either side of freezing across the board. And as we kind of take a look at tomorrow afternoon, there might be a spotty shower to the south and east of Kentuckiana, maybe towards Frankfurt and Lexington. But I really think that uh, we'll be dry tomorrow and Friday. Friday morning looking to be the coolest stretch of the end of this week. But look off to the west Friday evening. Here come the clouds moving through. This is the next system that will be bringing light rain and maybe even a couple of light snow showers to the Cincinnati area, as well as our far northeastern counties as we approach our Saturday. That's what we're thinking with total precipitation accumulation. The good news is it shouldn't be falling too much at a, a high cliff. A lot of this looking to be around a tenth to a quarter of an inch at the most this weekend, and most of the rain is looking to be mainly impacting us Saturday, possibly early Sunday. Brooke will be watching that close sleep, but this weekend looking to be kind of a weekend to stay inside, I would say, uh, with that rainy chance here and there.